then we screw down the tops. We're gonna end up with this. So through the Dean's Research Grant, I was able to do research on our iron pyrite cathodes for our rechargeable solid state batteries. That was kind of the culmination of my dissertation work that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to do. And it's our hope, like any battery researcher, that this work will eventually end up in your electric car. We were motivated by Energizer's lithium batteries. And so this would be a beyond lithium technology, except for the fact that it can't be recharged. Every battery has three components. It has a cathode, which is iron pyrite or fool's gold, so we like to call this the fool's gold battery. It has an anode, which is lithium metal, and then the third component is a liquid electrolyte that separates the two. We put our batter side there, all those powders, and then we just press it together, and that's our battery, so cathode, anode. Now, both the cathode, the iron pyrite, and the lithium metal are not stable versus that electrolyte. So that's the reason why it can't be recharged. And so what we do is we replace that liquid electrolyte with a glass electrolyte. So our batteries are totally solid. Why do we want to use all solid state batteries? And we, there's two reasons. The first is that we can make lighter batteries. And we can make lighter batteries because we can use these very energy dense chemistries. We can make them reversible with the solid state architecture. Whereas with a liquid battery, you can't recharge them so that the Energizer lithium batteries. And the second reason is because solid state batteries are safe. They're much, much safer than liquid conventional lithium ion batteries because we use the glass electrolyte. So everybody's heard of the, the Boeing Dreamliner catching on fire and the Chevy Volts catching on fire and burning down people's garages. And the reason is because the liquid electrolyte is flammable and volatile. Whereas if you just replace it with a glass that's totally inert, then your batteries won't catch on fire and explode. That I was able to join Professor Sehi Lee's group, and that just opened up doors. Because Professor Lee has, you know, I have access to all the uh, battery equipment, and more importantly, like all the contacts he has in the United States and, and, and the world. But I think that people at this university really appreciate life balance. And that's really important because grad school shouldn't be a miserable experience. It should be, I mean, it's going to be difficult, but it should be fun and it should be exciting both in and out of the classroom. And I think I was really able to make that happen here. So work hard and play harder, right?